So let's jump into iMovie and take a look at the new storyboard mode in a little bit more detail. So again, if you've seen the previous video, uh, we've looked at all of the different things, Magic Movie, um, Normal Movie, but this video we're going to jump into storyboard mode and just go through some of the settings in a little bit more detail. So again, you can see this range of topics that you can use to get started. Now, like I said in a previous video, this is a great way to just scaffold learning for students because it gives them that start point. So if you're thinking about accessibility for students, giving them a start point is always a great way to help them rather than that blank page uh, panic that sometimes students can have. So a whole range of different things in here that you can do. You know, often you'll you'll have elements of this within education, day in the life, how things work, Q and A type things. There's so many in here that you can use to get started. And I guess when children, students of any age really get familiar with this, they'll they'll start to choose things that have a nice layout for themselves. But let's jump into just a couple of them to have a look at, at how they're set up. Uh, how it works, for example, let's go into this. You get this cogs feel to it. Again, if you're familiar with using clips, you'll know that you know the the posters that come with clips are that you know really nice way, professional way to kind of get things started. And you can see the different styles. It's just the different way the text is going to animate on the page for you. Lots of really really nice ones you can play around with here, depending on what you're trying to get across. They've all got a different title, and then you can also play around with the fonts and the colors, etc within that. So this one, for example, has that orange uh, yellowy feel to it, but we can change that if we want that to be green or pink or beige, etc. It's just going to change those settings for you. So you just add that in and that's going to be the same for any of these different kind of overviews that you want. At the moment, you can see here it's on a blue background. We can change the color to whatever background is going to work for us, depending on the style that we're getting across. Some more uh, in terms of a formal uh, approach and then some a little bit more playful you might want to play around with just again that different approaches that students might want to have a look at and this for me is part of the critical thinking process for students it's about personalizing their work not everyone has to have it look exactly the same but there's a thought process into which style you choose at the very start so that's short. That's a really, really nice one there. How it works. Top five again. Similar sort of thing. This one's you know based around this idea of stars. That the picture is of the stars. You've got all of the different colours that you can change as well. And again, you can you've got all of those different styles. So whatever you know style you want to play around with, it's all there for you to use. Really, really nice. Now let's think about kind of creating a video with this. Then what what differences do they look like when you jump into them? Well, let's have a look at potentially doing a product pitch here. So again, really, really nice background, sets the scene for you. When we jump into create, again, it's gonna jump into this timeline approach. Now for me, this is a fantastic way, how people have used trailers in the past, I suppose, in order to create something like this. I know um, I've done videos before on like book reviews within a trailer. Well, this is kind of now bespoke to it. You don't, you're not set to that specific trailer approach because you do have a few additional options in here because you've already had that style choice at the very start. What's nice though is the storyboard approach. If you're teaching English to students at all, that whole idea of storyboarding things, if you're doing product design, storyboards, process, you know, that whole idea of choosing that approach. But the nice thing here is under product pitch, you'll see that it gives you the titles for the different sections. So again, scaffolding for students, the things that they're gonna do in a sequence in order to create their video. So it's gonna highlight exactly what you should be looking for. And I love this because it's kind of using a video creation tool to actually help you structure something. I don't have to make a video without that knowledge anymore. I've got this as the guide to help me think about the approach. So you, you could set the activity for yourself to make this uh, product pitch. Students can jump into this and this is the start point. It's not the end point. Video is an end outcome. Yeah, that's great. But I love the idea of this actually being the guide, the start point to say, okay, what do I need to do in order to do a really, really good product pitch? Okay, well, let's think about the different elements that I need to include in it think is, is a great thing for students to utilize.
And each of the projects have that same approach. So we've seen this already in a previous video. Good to look at it again. The science experiment one works in the same way. What's the background? What's our setup? What are the observations we've made? Again, really, really nice way. And for me, science is one of those ones where I think a lot of the students feed back to say they, they love the practicality of science. They love the hands-on approach. And then they're asked to write down the results and write evaluations. And it kind of kills all of that free-flowing, fun activity. Your observations are observations. So why not use film in order to do it? So I think this is a really, really nice way again. And again, just giving that guide, what have you looked for? How do you do it? So again, giving that additional structure and support to students in that class. Let's then look at this Q&A one. I think this is a really, really nice approach. Guess, again, thinking about how students structure um, you know, different things depending on the subjects that they're in. But again, this whole idea of, of maybe doing an interview with someone. So structuring in history it could be an interview with a historical character. You could kind of create this whole thing and have this back and forth question and answer. And some really, really nice kind of overviews of the types of shots that you would really like to have in here. And then a the final one just to kind of look at, which I think is going to be a really, really useful one uh, for students, um, is this About Me one. Um, we see this quite a lot, start of school years, um, and, and a great way for students to start to think about you know, who they are and what they want to choose. But again, the About Me could be a historical character, could be um, something to do with social studies, uh, you know, film stars, could, could be absolutely anything. So what is it that you're focusing on? And again, this whole idea of this overview. And what I love about this is, again, it's, it's taking that idea for me, for my students in higher education, this video CV, you know, who am I? You know, how do I get myself across in social media? Really, really quick way to kind of put together an online video CV that you could create um, and put out on, on LinkedIn. Let people know who you are. You know, what a great way to kind of wrap those things up. So do play around with these different things. Uh, you can obviously, as people did with trailers in the past, it doesn't have to be a trailer for a movie. It could be a trailer for anything. And I'm sure people will kind of use the science experiment overview to, to think about observations in different things. Could be a nature hunt that they've gone on. But lots and lots of different things that you could do. The news report, again, just a really, really nice example of, of ways. I, I've seen people use iMovie before, but this just gives this really, really nice kind of overview. Simplicity for students. So... There we go, overview of how to really, really quickly and simply make these things. Um, it's as simple as choosing your video for each clip, either creating it from scratch by taking a video or selecting it from your library. It adds it in. You don't need to worry too much about the times, etc., because it's already created for you and you're done. You, you've got a great video that you can get started with. So there we go, how to create um, your storyboard in iMovie.